So my message is simple. We're stuck with this costly coalition for a year and a half, it looks like. There will be an election where Canadians will choose between the costly coalition of the NDP and Trudeau who tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs and unleash crime and chaos in your community, or common sense conservatives who will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. But there's still another year and a half where Canadians have to find a way to survive. So my message to Justin Trudeau is this, in one word, stop. Stop doubling housing costs. Stop taxing our farmers and food when our single moms and seniors are going hungry. Stop the inflationary deficits that are driving up interest rates and forcing Canadians to lose their homes. Stop endangering our social programs and jobs by adding more and more debt. For the love of God, Justin Trudeau, you are not worth the cost. So today, will you please stop? Stop until common sense conservatives can start governing with common sense for this country. A common sense plan to axe the tax, to bring down the cost of energy, food, and everything else. We will axe the carbon tax. That will make our businesses more competitive, our wages higher, our food more affordable. We'll cut income tax so hard work pays off. We'll fix the budget by bringing in a common sense dollar for dollar law that requires that we find one dollar of savings for every new dollar of spending while we slash the waste and reduce the burden on the backs of Canadians, a smaller government with bigger citizens. We will build the homes by requiring municipalities permit 15% more home building as a condition of getting federal funds and that they permit high density housing around every transit station. We'll sell off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of federal land to build, build, build. We'll take the carbon tax off so that building materials are more affordable and we'll stop the crime with jail, not bail, for repeat violent offenders, with treatment, not more drugs, for people addicted, and with stronger borders and secure ports to stop the criminals from taking our stolen cars out and bringing drugs and guns in, all while we respect lawful licensed firearms owners. This is the common sense future that we can look forward to. The good news is life wasn't like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. We're gonna restore the country that we knew and still love, where hard work pays off, where government is the servant and not the master, where government is the servant and not the master of the people, where hard work means an affordable home and food in a safe neighborhood. This is the country to which we can look forward. This is the country that common sense will build. The common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Thank you. Thank you.